Hi, I'm John Brownlee. Today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite things in all of fishing, and that's catching live bait. Everybody knows that wherever you live in the world, you have specialized techniques for catching bait. Some people catch them on sabiki rigs, some people catch them in cast nets, other people catch them by giving somebody uh, dollar bills, they buy them. But uh, there's lots of ways to find bait, and here's a couple of things you need to be on the lookout for if you're looking for live bait that you're gonna catch yourself. The first and most telltale sign is bait rippling or flipping on the surface of the water. That can be a dead giveaway that there's bait in the area, but they don't always do it. They usually do it late in the afternoon or early in the morning, especially when you're looking for a small body bait like a pilchard, which is a scaled sardine. We have lots of those in South Florida. The other thing you're gonna be looking for are birds diving, and that's probably the most telltale giveaway is diving birds. Pelicans, sometimes terns, seagulls are diving, picking up baits here and there. And it can't just be one bird, so never pass up a bird that's diving, because that's a telltale giveaway that there's bait in the area. Once you've located the bait, you gotta figure out how to get on them, and uh, whether you're gonna use a sabiki rig or a cast net, you've gotta be able to position yourself so you're adequately in position to catch them. And that can be very difficult sometimes because of wind, current, shallow water, whatever. It just takes trial and error and practice like everything else. But once you get a well full of live bait, you're gonna be catching more fish and that's the whole point. I'm John Brownlee, thanks a lot.